Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a laid back, relaxing kind of tutorial on this look. It's just a good everyday, super simple go-to fall makeup look. You have really fresh, glowy skin. I'm like obsessed with the cheeks uh, and a one and done shadow on the eyes. So super easy, super simple and Honestly, the last week really stressed me out and I found myself watching a lot of relaxing tutorials. So I thought I would, you know, repay the favor and put one back into the world since I enjoyed watching so many last week. So I hope you enjoyed this and if you want to see how I got this makeup, well then just keep watching. So I'm starting off with the Liquid Silk Canvas from Tatcha. I've been really enjoying this to just kind of like fill my pores in the middle of my face. I have been having a little bit of a weird skin time lately. I just recently got a peel a couple days ago to kind of try to help my skin along. Uh, so if you see any peeling, that's what's going on. But I really like that Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas just to kind of fill in my pores and make everything look like a silk canvas. Hmm, I guess that's why they named it that. <laughs> now for the rest of my face, I'm going in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Primer. I love this primer. It is hydrating, it grips really well. I love that. It just has like that little bit of I want to say tackiness, but it's not tacky. It's just that little bit of grip that you like a primer to have, but it's still hydrating. So I really like that. Now for my base, I'm using the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Rescue. I'm in the shade 2 and one So you'll notice that today I'm wearing a turtleneck and that is because my neck doesn't match my face right now because my neck keeps getting irritated. And so I keep like trying to unirritate it, de-irritate it, calm it. I keep trying to calm it with different things uh, and so my self tanner is just not lasting on my neck so I decided hey I'll just wear a turtleneck today so that's what we've got going on. I'm gonna use this brush. This is a foundation brush from It Cosmetics. It's available exclusively at Ulta, this particular brush. It has stars on it. I don't know if they still sell it or not, but I've been using this lately and I've just been going in and like stippling. Do you guys remember when stippling became a thing? Like, I remember that. That was like many years ago. We all discovered stippling for the first time and it was like, wow, this is a really cool way to, to get a nice finish on your foundation. <laughs> I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is just my all-time fave. And I've really been liking doing it this way. I put just a little bit here, a little bit here, and then I'll kind of connect the two to make my triangle, my trusty triangle that I love. But I found that this little technique kind of helps me not use as much concealer as I normally do, which just, I've kind of realized is not the most flattering thing for me to do. So I've been really trying to moderate my concealer use. Now for bronzer, I've recently liked double bronzing, but the first bronzer I use is a cream bronzer. So this is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel, and I just take a Sephora domed stippling brush 
looks like this. And I just go in and bronze up everywhere that I normally would bronze. So I kind of get a little bit into the hollows of my cheeks, around the hairline, and also around the jawline. Now for brows, I'm going to use my absolute favorite, the Your Brow Styler, and then I'll finish up with my other favorite, the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. My secret to brows is to always just brush through with a spoolie until they look decent. <laughs> Now for the easiest eye look ever, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Marie Antoinette. It's now called Oyster Gold. It's just, oh my gosh, so good. It's such a good one and done shadow. So I'm going to take a flat brush, put it all over the lid, and then I will blend it out into my crease with a fluffy brush. Super simple. I'm just going to put a little bit of a champagne eyeliner on my lower waterline. I've really been liking to keep my lower waterline very bright. I don't know. I had been using like darker eyeliners, grays and browns recently, but I've gone back to using like a light color and I really, really like it. And then I'll finish the eyes with just a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line. I'm going to brighten up the center of my face with a little bit more of my concealer. I just love the like dimension and glow it gives when you have like this part of your face highlighted. So now I'm going to set everywhere that I put concealer with some setting powder and this is my very favorite setting powder from Charlotte Tilbury. Those areas that had concealer, I set with a sponge, but for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the same powder, but on a brush. You'll see my skin looks a little bit shiny right in here. That's where I peeled the most when I got my peel. So my skin's peeling the most there and it's also like shining the most there just because it's like brand new, like baby skin. 
So now for my double bronze, I'm going to take the bronze shade from the Hourglass Lighting Edit Mini, the Sculpture Unlocked. This is their holiday 2020 collection. I'm going to take that bronzer on a nice double-ended brush from Hourglass. I'm going to take the bigger side and I'm just going to go back over my bronzer. The thing I love most about the Hourglass, like these sets, is even the bronzer gives you like this nice diffused glow. I just think it's so magical, so beautiful, and I really love it in the fall and winter because those powders give you a glow, but you're still using powders. I don't know why in the winter I'm kind of drawn to powders. I think I want to be a little more closer to matte. I definitely never want to be matte, but this allows me to use a powder, but still look glowy and fresh, which is what I love. Now for my blush, I'm going to use the blush from this palette. I love this. It's such a good like rose mauve color. This is a very classic fall winter color that I love. I think that these colors are really really great for holiday they did a good job i always love their holiday collection i mean seriously look at this and we don't even have highlight on yet. It's so beautiful. Gonna get a little bit on my nose. I'm gonna use the highlight from the same palette. Come on, how pretty is that? For lips, I'm going to use this Victoria Beckham lipstick in the color Pose. I absolutely love this. It's a brownish rose color. It is so beautiful. It feels so fall. And I love the formula. So I have been reaching for this a lot. And I think it's just an amazing lipstick. And I love that I can use just the lipstick. So I don't have to, you know, do a few steps. I can just go straight in with this. And I love the finish. And it gives me enough color that I don't need a liner. So this is a total win for me. I'm going to use the Rare Beauty 4-in-1 Mist. I thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it to be a nice little escape from this crazy, crazy world. <laughs> I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, you take care of yourself. Bye.